Awesome. So take your time. And like I said, today we're going to really practice taking care of ourselves, creating um, more room for us to process things that need to be processed in a safe setting, in a safe circle, so that even though I know we all have responsibilities, um, but to be able to be to be able to better um, take care of each other, we need to take care of ourselves. So right now, with any bolster that you have or any blanket, make some support. And then let's lay the belly onto the support, lay the heart, lay the cheeks, really snuggle in. And take the time to adjust until you feel completely comfortable. So for some of you, it might be wriggling the knees forward. It might be wriggling the knees closer together. You might even take extra blankets under the face or between your heels and your hips. So there are many ways to make sure that a yoga shape works for you and fits you. You're never trying to fit into some um, predetermined shape. So it's all your exploration. So let's take a deep breath here. Filling the entire body with breath. And then as you exhale, just let the whole body relax down towards the earth. And we're gonna take a few more breaths like that, starting to move away from the analytical mind, the um, busy mind that is trying to problem solve. Let's move back into the body to take care of those deeper layers that help us to be strong from the core, from within, in order to be able to continue moving in the outer world when we feel that safety already within, that sense of having come home to the body. So take a few more breaths like that, just gently allowing the breath to fill the body as it flows in and to allow yourself to just arrive as you exhale. So there's no rush here, you're simply allowing yourself to let the body know, to let the nervous system know that you're carving out this little bit of space and time for your self-care, for nurturing yourself. So we're going to hang out here for another minute, another full round minute for your breath to also get to be full and round. And we're not trying to manipulate it to be any specific way. We're giving it time and we're welcoming however the breath is today. So allowing it to come into its own fullness in its own way. And maybe today, your full round breath, it's a very short one. Maybe today there are things happening that just has made you feel a little more contracted. And so we'll allow space for that. We'll allow that. So at this moment, allowing yourself to welcome yourself just as you are. Just the way that you would take care of anyone that you love in your life. Giving yourself that same care. Imagining what you would say to someone that you care about. And now please let yourself have the opportunity for another minute here to have that beautiful kind of check in within with yourself just to let yourself know how much you love yourself and it can seem awkward you know we're not used to doing that in our lives um, but it's a good practice and it doesn't matter what it sounds like to anyone else just notice how it feels when you hear it within yourself, because we hardly ever 
have that conversation with ourselves. If you had yourself resting on one cheek, you can turn and have the other cheek onto your blankets, onto your pillows. Just letting that intention, even if you're not communicating in words within right now, that intention of here we are, we're going to embrace this moment, embrace ourselves just as we are right now. Great, and then inviting you to take five more deep breaths here. With every exhalation, let's exhale through the mouth and let it come out of a sigh. So as you breathe in through the nose and as you breathe out, with a sigh. Our breath is very capable of communicating to our nervous system. <sighs> Whether we are able to be safe or not. Whether we're able to relax or not. So using our breath as a doorway into becoming more grounded. Into coming back into the body. Let's take one more breath like that. Beautiful. And then from here, let's come back to center. Take your time and we'll walk the hands back towards ourselves. We'll just take these props for the moment to the side. Great. And then from here, we're going to bring the knees together, bring the um, hips towards the heels. And then let's take the arms over each other. Your forearms are stacked and we'll rest the forehead onto the forearms. We'll take five more breaths like that, really letting the breath just do its own magic. The shape itself already helps us to relax the spine, helps us to, again, soothe and calm from the centers, the solar plexus, the heart, the belly. So just allowing those places where tension tends to accumulate now to just receive that massaging, soothing breath. Three more breaths like that, just letting your breath take care of you. Great. And then from here, we're going to bring our hands again towards ourselves. And let's come into downward dog, or if you prefer cat and cow, so whatever is appealing to you right now, we're gonna draw the hips up and away and let ourselves just work into the spine, drawing the hips back. So let the head relax, let the neck relax if you're in downward dog. And just articulating still with your breath, feeling your breath through the body here. Great, and then let's come back down onto the knees. We're going to take a melting heart twist. So let's come onto the forearms 
and we'll take the left arm across, left shoulder onto the mat. So we're keeping the hips high and right above the knees, and then the right hand is going to the left hip. Feel a little bit like you're shifting the hips more to your left here as you relax the shoulders again, relax the neck. Feel free to just soften the eyes, soften the jaw. We'll take about five breaths here. And not even needing to manipulate your breath in any way, just breathe as the breath wants to be. Just let each breath do its thing. Great, and then we're gonna switch sides. So we're working with the heart meridian here. We're gonna come back to the center, turn the right palm up, slide the arm across your mat, right shoulder to the earth, left hand to the right hip. We'll stack the hips right above the knees and just gently draw the hips to the right a little bit more, deepening into the twist in your mid back. Relax the neck again. There's no efforting there at all. Great. And then hands back towards the earth, coming back to center. We're going to come through downward dog for a moment. So pressing down through the toes, drawing the hips high, and we'll draw the hips back for a few more breaths. Feel free to be in half standing forward bend if that feels better for you. And we're gonna draw the heels gently away to bring the heart closer to the legs. Great, and then let's release the knees back towards the earth. We're gonna walk the arms forward and come into any form of cobra. So it could be baby cobra with your elbows at your ribs and the heart just slightly kind of um, arching up or hands for the back, coming a little higher, whatever feels best for you. Walk your big toes back, draw your elbows back, draw the heart up. We're gonna be pulsing through this with our breath. So when we inhale, we're gonna draw the heart a little higher. And when we exhale, we're just gonna soften and bring the forehead towards the earth. Let yourself feel through the forehead, that grounding sense of the earth. Take a moment there, and then when you're ready again, let's inhale and slowly draw the heart up. And exhale, just belly, solar plexus, heart, and then forehead back to its theater. We'll do a few more like this. Inhale, we're gonna roll the heart up, drawing the shoulders back. And exhale, relaxing to its theater. And again, pressing down through the feet, roll the shoulders back, roll the heart up. And exhale towards the earth. We'll do two more like this, pressing down through the front line of the legs as you roll the shoulders back and draw the heart up. And then exhale, lowering towards the earth. One last one here. Rolling the heart up, rolling the shoulders back. And then we're going to come back into knees together, child's pose, stack the arms and forehead towards the earth. Take a few more breaths there, just letting everything settle.
Great, and then walk the hands back towards yourself. We're gonna take a moment and have a seat, crossing the right shin in front of the left. Great, and then just take your hands and squeeze the forearms a little bit. So if your left hand, just a little bit of a squeezing massage to that right arm, the forearm. And then on the other side, right hand, just gently squeezing the forearm. Really let yourself feel that sensation. Great, and then we're going to take the arms, just take the hands over the shoulders, rest the elbows against the heart. Great, tuck the chin, we'll roll the head forward for a moment. And then as you do that, draw the shoulder joint back. So roll the shoulders up and back and draw the elbows down. And we're going to just rock a little bit side to side of the head. So left ear to the left shoulder, right ear to the right shoulder. So just a few times like this. Great, and then let's inhale, we're gonna draw the arms all the way up. And then exhale, we're gonna relax the hands behind us. Nice, so the fingertips are going to press down, roll the shoulders back, and draw the heart up. Nice, draw your elbows back, lengthen up from the sternum. Relax the neck again, take the crown of the head a little further back. Nice, so keeping the spine like this, relax the legs a little more. We're gonna take a simple twist to your right. So left hand outside the right leg, right hand walking back, fingertips continuing to walk to the right. We'll take three breaths here. So inhaling, we're gonna grow a little bit taller, rooting down through our sit bones, lengthening up lightly through the crown of the head. And then exhale, we're gonna turn through the mid back, belly button guiding as it turns to the right a little bit more. You're going to take two more breaths like that. And again, if you want to breathe out through the mouth, feel free to do that. <sighs> nice. One more breath like that. <sighs> Beautiful. And then let's release back to the center. We'll inhale, draw the arms all the way up again. Breathe into your ribs. And then let's twist to the left, right hand outside the left leg, left hand behind you. Nice. And then inhale, gently ground down through the sit bones, draw up through the crown of the head. And as you exhale, just little by little, take the belly button to your left more. Relaxing our shoulders here, relaxing anything that we feel like we need to carry on those shoulders. We're just going to breathe out and soften. <sighs> nice, one more breath like that. Full permission to really sigh it all out. <sighs> awesome, and then slowly release. We're gonna inhale, fill the sides with breath. And then exhale, we're gonna come forward. Draw your sit bones back, walk your fingertips forward. Inhale, draw the heart up. And exhale, we'll just fold to wherever we can wherever it feels right. Nice. So you're gonna draw your outer thighs down towards the earth as you walk your fingertips forward more. Then we're gonna let ourselves tilt a little bit side to side. So you're letting your torso just gently rock side to side. Notice when we do things that are quite gentle, you can feel that sense of soothing yourself. Great, and then we're gonna walk the hands back. We're gonna extend the legs. Press the soles of the feet forward, especially the balls of the feet. And then inhale, we'll lengthen all the way up. Relax the shoulders. And exhale, we'll fold forward. I'm gonna do this five more times. So inhale, we're gonna lengthen up. It doesn't matter how far we reach. Heart is going to lengthen towards the feet. Exhale. Just coming to wherever we can. Wherever it feels right. 
Inhale. Again, we're going to lengthen. Exhale, soften forward. Two more times. And exhale. <sighs> nice. One more like that. And exhale. <sighs> Great. Then we're going to cross the left shin in front of the right. Hands onto the knees. Roll the shoulders back. Walk the sit bones back. And inhale, lengthen the heart up, lengthen that front body. Exhale, we're going to soften forward and fold. And hanging out here for five more breaths. So take a nice deep breath in. And exhale. Great, and then letting yourself rock a little if that feels good side to side. Just really letting yourself be with each breath. Nice, and then walking the hands back to it's yourself. Great. Now from here, we're going to come back onto the knees. Let's get into cat and cow for a few breaths. So widen the fingers, press gently down, roll your shoulders back, and inhale, roll the heart up, exhale, round the spine. And inhale, rolling the heart up, and exhale, rounding the spine. A few more like this. Just letting the breath flow through the spine, through the body. And then we'll come back to center. We're going to step the right foot forward between the hands. And then let's bring the hands onto the right leg. Relax the shoulders. And we'll just draw the hips forward. Draw the heart gently back. Nice. We're just breathing into this. We'll take a few more breaths like that. And if you notice any sense of um, the hips kind of trying to get really engaged or tightened, you're going to pace it a little more easier. So you're going to bring your feet even maybe a little closer in the right foot. Just breathe there, find ease again. Great. And then from here, we're going to take a little twist. Left elbow outside the right leg. We'll just press the palms and just gently draw the heart towards the thumbs. Nice. Relax the right hip a little. Draw the right hip back. We'll take three more breaths here, just twisting. The right shoulder is going to want to kind of do a lot. So let's again let the right shoulder relax here. Great. And then exhale, release. We'll tuck our toes. Step into downward dog for a moment. Draw the hips up and back. Micro bend your knees, take a few more breaths here. Let the head relax, let the neck relax. And the knees back towards the earth. We're just gonna bring the left foot forward between the hands. And again, just finding a comfortable stance. More interested in Finding stability through the points where you're connected to the earth right now and sensing those places. Great. Relax the left hip a little more. Let the left outer hip draw down and back. Beautiful. And then we're going to come into a twist. Let's draw the arms up. Take a deep breath. And then as you exhale, turn to your left, right elbow outside the left knee, pressing the palms gently together and rolling the heart towards the thumbs. Relax the head here, so there's no need to crank the head to look up. We're just letting things fall into place. 
Nice. We'll take three more breaths here. Great. And then hands back to its the earth. Taking one more downward dog in transition, drawing the hips up and back. Then we're going to bend one knee, then the other, just gently twisting side to side. Great, we're going to take triangle next. So when you're ready, let's bring the right leg all the way up, pressing away through the right heel. Then we'll bend the right knee and turn open the right hip. Great, take a breath there. And then let's step the right foot forward between the hands. Nice. And even though it's a standing pose, we're going to do it with that intention still of self-care. So however you can approach this softly, starting to lengthen into the front leg. Nice. And then right hand is going to land where it feels right on your right leg. Could be your shin, could be lower, could be higher. Relax both the shoulders. Start with your left hand on your left hip. And just gently turn the chest towards the left. Tuck the chin, relax your shoulders, and if it feels okay, maybe you can turn the heart a little more to the sky. Nice. We're going to let this feel easy today, so now if it feels okay, you can relax the right arm, let yourself just drape more towards the right. Left arm can just relax, left hand onto your left hip, and unless you want the left arm to come up, feel free, or the left arm can just round and reach over and relax there. So it's a little bit like being a tree almost, a tree that is letting itself just relax and drape. Great, I just turned to face you. You can just relax there for a couple more breaths. Belly button into the spine. Great, and then we're gonna bend the front knee Press down through the feet, and we'll take a moment to transition into a reverse warrior. Relaxing the shoulders, bending that front knee, drawing the right sit bone to the left heel. Great. And then we'll come through to a white-legged forward bend. So we'll have the big toes pointing in towards each other, and full forward for a few more moments. If folding forward makes you dizzy, you're going to walk your hands forward, look softly forward so that your torso is um, about 90 degrees to the earth. So whatever feels right for you here, take a couple more breaths there. Great. And then let's walk the hands in towards our cells. We're going to turn the left foot out and the right foot in and we'll come into triangle on this side so just starting to draw the right hand to the right hip and the left hand is just going to slide to wherever it feels like the right spot for you relax your shoulders here and just gently turn the heart up towards the sky nice tuck the chin relax the head and the neck and then it's up to you if you want to Turn the heart open more, you naturally look up more. Great, feel free to hang out here. This might be um, quite a lot of sensation already. Or if you want, you can let yourself drape over to the left now, just releasing the arm. And you can draw the right arm up if that feels good. Or right arm can release over to the left side. And we'll take a few more breaths there together. Each of the exhalations just a really good place to <sighs> let things move. Great, and then we're going to press down through the feet, bend the front knee, transition, come into reverse warrior, left fingertips drawing overhead, and we're going to relax our shoulders here. So I'll take a few more breaths like that.
Great. And then pressing down through the feet. We're going to bring the big toes to point towards each other again. Nice. And then this time we're going to interlace the hands behind, roll the shoulders back, and draw the knuckles back. Nice. We're going to roll the heart up, draw the tailbone forward, take a few more breaths there. Great, and then we're gonna change the interlace. So bring the fingers one finger up behind you, roll your shoulders back. Nice. And then let's fold forward one more time. Again, choose to stay halfway or let yourself fold all the way forward. Micro bend the knees a little if that feels good for you. Then we're gonna let ourselves draw the heart to its the left leg. Take a few more breaths there. and then sweeping gently to your right. Take a breath in and exhale. Draw your heart towards the right leg. Nice. And then let's release the arms. Just let them hang out. Walk forward and just fold over the legs for a few more breaths. And then we'll walk the hands back towards ourselves and towards the front of your mat. You're going to step the feet back for a moment, come into downward dog. We'll release the knees back towards the earth and then take your time and we'll step the right foot forward. Nice. And again, we're going to find our balance first. We're going to get grounded through the points where the body is connected to the earth. Then this is very simple. We're just going to release the left arm to the side and right hand to the right hip. We're going to start reaching down towards the earth with the left fingertips. If the left fingertips don't reach the earth and you'd rather have some support, feel free to take your cushion or your block under your hand. And then if it feels okay, you're gonna reach the right arm over. We're gonna turn the ribs a little more towards the sky and take a few more breaths there. Nice, and then sweep the right arm back, come back to face forward. Step the right foot more towards the right side of your mat. We'll drop the right knee to the side and then you're going to draw forward through the legs. Nice. Let yourself round forward, relax forward. And we'll take a few more breaths there. So we'll keep the hips even and keep drawing the right sit bone back, the right outer hip back. And then walk your hands back towards you. Tuck your toes. So your left toes is going to be pressing down on the earth. Right outer foot is still onto the side of your mat. And we're going to sweep the right arm up. Draw your left heel back. Press down through the legs to feel a little more buoyant as you lengthen up and roll the heart up. Beautiful. And then we'll just come back. Both the knees onto the ground. Take a moment, draw the heart forward, lower the belly, come into cobra, draw your shoulders back. And then back onto the knees and we'll take the left foot forward between the hands. Nice, and then again, we're just going to find our grounding again. Beautiful. And let's release the right fingertips to the side and we'll draw the left arm gently up. And again, in your own time, 
right fingertips reaching maybe towards the earth, maybe taking our block if that feels nice, and extending left fingertips overhead. And in your own time, over the next few breaths, we're going to turn open the left ribs to the sky just a little bit more. And then as you exhale, we're going to bring ourselves forward. And let's step the left foot more to the outer edge of your mat. We'll relax the left knee to the side and then walk your arms forward. So you can stay high, we can come a little lower, whatever feels right today, we're gonna let ourselves soften forward. So just breathing into this together. Letting our breath help us again to ah, present, come to the present. To melt away Whatever happened before, we're just going to let it melt away into the earth. One more breath here. Great. And then we're going to come into our twist. So hands are going to walk back. We'll tap the back toes. We'll just come a little away from the earth. So right leg is straightening. And then with the right hand on your mat, let's draw the left arm up, draw the hips back, roll the heart open. Take a few more breaths there. So there's no need to twist further than feels right for you. Feel free to hang out wherever it is. Maybe it's even a little more forward today. Feel free to take your um, left hand on your left hip then if that feels better. So check out what feels right right now. Great, and then we're going to come into one last downward dog here. Just draw the hips up and back. Let yourself twist again, side to side. Great, and then we're going to come back down towards the earth. Beautiful, and we're gonna come back into that first shape that we were in. So taking any props that you like again, maybe some of your pillows will be under the head. Maybe you have extra blankets that you like to put over your body or between your heels and your bottom. So what we're doing is we're gonna set up for a restorative child's pose. And if child's pose does not feel restorative for you at all, feel free instead to lie on your back and bring some support under the head, under the knees, and maybe a little weight over the body um, with the blankets or with the pillows. So take your time. We're going to feel what is the right shape for us today. Then we're going to really let ourselves come forward and just nestle in. So take your time to find that sensation of really landing again, coming into your child's pose. Letting yourself get all snuggled up, getting cozy, Nice. A little bit like tucking yourself in right now. Great. And then let's let the breath flow in and out. And let's take a few more breaths like that, just allowing the breath to flow into the body. And through to the earth. Beautiful. And as you let yourself settle here, as you take your time to let the entire body almost feel like um, it's being plugged into a charging station. So letting yourself just know that you're here now just to receive, just to be nurtured. 
So while you might be busy caring for others in your life, usually this is the time to really make it for you. Being able to receive is just as important as being able to get. Great, so we're going to hang out here. As you let yourself settle, I'll take us through a little guided visualization. So now feel the belly supported, feel the solar plexus supported, and feel the heart supported. And as each of these places feel supported, let them yield a little more into support. So feeling a breath through your belly button. And as you exhale, letting the belly soften. And then awareness coming to your solar plexus, feeling your breath through the solar plexus. And as you exhale, letting your breath there soften. And feeling the heart supported. And as you exhale, letting the heart soften. Letting your awareness Feel the breath flowing into the neck and the shoulders. And as you exhale, neck and shoulders soften. Feeling the breath expanding through the entire side body. And as you exhale, entire side body softens. Feeling the breath massaging into the lower back. And as you exhale, lower back softens. Filling with breath through the hips. And as you exhale, the hips relax. And feeling the entire body receive breath. And the entire body exhaling to soften. There's nothing else to have to do, just simply allowing each breath to arrive and to soften. Just breath by breath, letting the sensation of the breath be a comforting rhythm, a comforting inner caress. Your breath is with you 24-7. Your breath is your companion. For a few more breaths, just simply really enjoying each of these breaths, letting them arrive and letting it dissipate. Just allowing yourself to receive each breath. Letting yourself be touched by the breath. And then being generous as you let it go. We'll hang out here for a few more breaths, just simply 
really nestling into each cycle of breath. And then from here, you have two options for your Shavasana. You can either stay in your child's pose, maybe turning your head to the other way for your Shavasana. Or if you want to come to lying down, feel free to come to lying down for your Shavasana. And again, if your blanket is serving you well right now, continuing to cover the body with the blanket. Very comforting to feel a little weight on the skin for your nervous system where you can wrap the blanket around your feet. It can also be very nice and comforting. So whatever feels best, it's time for you to enjoy that sweet Shavasana, nestling the head into support, maybe letting a little bit of weight ground you further, helping you to really just be. And we'll imagine that there is a bubble of comfort around our body right now protective aura, a protective sphere in which you're completely safe and completely protected. You can let your eyes softly close and let yourself feel completely held Imagining that your favorite place in the world is within this bubble and that you're resting in this place right now, the safest place in the world. And there's nothing else to have to do. Simply relax and simply be. Simply enjoy your Shavasana.
allowing ourselves to transition gently. Taking smooth, deep breaths into the body. Before you come out of your position, just wrapping your arms again around your shoulders. Letting yourself feel that embrace still with your eyes closed. And ask yourself the question, what mantra can I repeat to myself? Can I use as a reminder for myself, for this self-care. So in moments of stress, what do I need to hear? So ask your inner wisdom, what do I need to hear? And let this come back to you whenever you need it. Then we'll take our time to just start to stretch out, lengthen away through the limbs. And taking any movements that you like along the way. And then coming back to meet in any comfortable seat with the eyes softly closed and the hands resting on the heart. Remembering that mantra, what do you need to hear during those times of need? We'll chant OM to seal our practice, pressing the palms together. Take a breath in. each other. Namaste.